It's a beautiful area, a fantastic place to live. You can pursue lots of different leisure activities here. The scenery is stunning. It's relaxing. There's the River Main. Lots of people come here for their holidays. And I get to live here all year round. You know, it's an absolutely wonderful place to live. We discovered camping completely by chance as a hobby for the whole family and a way to spend our holidays. I must say that I was never really a fan of camping. I just couldn't imagine the benefits. Then some friends offered to lend us their motorhome after they came back from their holiday in Italy. It was absolutely the best holiday ever. And then we were hooked. The kids love it as there are no rules or routine to stick to. You can simply open the door and let the kids out. And two weeks later, just clap your hands, call the kids and return home. Everyone has a fantastic time because everything is so relaxed. I must admit that I was a bit depressed when I first learned that I needed dialysis. I can still remember calling my wife to tell her that I was going to need dialysis. I can remember the tears welling up in my eyes and crying as I thought to myself, oh no, now I'm going to have to spend the rest of my days hooked up to some machine for hours on end. That's going to be my life from now on. We'd been married for some time when Norbert fell ill. We just bought and renovated a house. It was a difficult time for us. There's something that my husband says that always helps me, though. There are people who are far worse off. We can still think for ourselves and do everything for ourselves. We just need to see how we can manage. Life must go on. We have to be there for one another, to look to the future with optimism and to live for the here and now. We just take one step at a time together and don't think about what will happen in five years' time. The turning point for me was when we decided that I would begin dialysis. Only then did I realize how much my health had gradually been deteriorating and how much better I felt after dialysis and how much strength it gave me again too. Then I learned that there was another option. Dialysis patients could have a machine at home, and then they wouldn't need to do their dialysis at set times. So I can have the machine there and decide for myself when I want to do my dialysis. There's no one telling me when it has to be done. If I want, I can do it every single day. One decisive factor was when it came to holidays, but we tackled that problem very early on. We began dialysis in January 2015, and we went on holiday that spring. We just googled dialysis center, wrote an email, and received a reply the very next morning saying, yes, of course, you can come to us from then until then. It was all arranged very quickly. The decision to do dialysis at home was a difficult one. What if something happened? Would I need to step in and help? I must say I was a bit scared about that. But the advantages are clear. Doing it at home means we can spend more time as a family. I missed most of the hospital stuff, as I was always in school. But I think it's better now. At night he's gone in a room upstairs for his treatment. But in the day, he's here again. You don't really notice any difference at all. It took almost an entire year for the dialysis center to prepare me and give me the necessary training, to teach me to take my time with everything. It really has become part of my routine now. I can really only say, just accept it. Having to regularly perform an intensive medical procedure at home certainly takes some getting used to. But it's actually very easy to integrate into your life. Total einfach ins Leben integrieren. Selbstpunktieren ist natürlich. Now being able to place a needle is crucial to doing my dialysis at home. 
because I have to get the needle into my arm somehow. Und ich, soweit ich denken kann, noch nie Freund von irgendwelchen Nadeln war. To be honest, I've not been much of a fan of needles for as long as I can remember. And the dialysis needles aren't exactly by little needles either. After all, a certain amount of blood has to be able to get through. The dialysis nurse showed me how to do it though. It worked so well that I immediately then gave a second needle a try. I felt utterly euphoric. I just wished I had a few more arms to practice on. It's my arm and my dialysis, so it's also up to me to place the needle. The more I do my dialysis at night, the less I notice the machine. For me, it has become a part of relaxing and of my bedtime routine. It's away from everyday family life, but it's my little oasis of peace, my dialysis room, and I'm able to relax here and rest. And at some point, it wakes me up and says, treatment goal complete that I can disconnect myself from the machine and begin my normal working day.